All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's weekly Everyman crossword set by Everyman. It's usually easier than the daily cryptic. Let's see if that holds true. Invent a herb. So I think this is just going to be a, a double definition. The name of a herb that can also mean to invent. Nothing is coming to mind. Um, Sage, dill, what other four-letter herbs are there, are herbs, as some people say? No, not getting it. What may be seen in Manhattan is a film about greed. Oh, I think this is a fairly easy one, if you're familiar with your films of the 80s, anyway. So a film set in Manhattan about greed uh, would be Wall Street. Greed is good. Um, so that's helpful. We have some nice starting letters here. Let's try this one. After injection of iodine, a thorax is most sore. Yeah. I, Saying after injection of iodine makes me think that's part of the wordplay. And whatever the chemical symbol for iodine is, we're probably going to insert that in a word for thorax. Oh, and, and we might actually start with an A, and then it's going to mean most sore. The first word that comes to mind is achiest. And I see we have a chest with an I inside it, so iodine must simply be I. I asked the waiter for iodine, but iodined all alone, if anyone remembers that song. Large, which we have the L. Prison officers failing to open smallish rooms. Well, I presume it's going to mean smallish rooms, but what are smallish rooms? Lounges? Um, large, I think, is that L. And then what are pri prison officers? Oh, failing to open Ah, yes, yeah, so warders are prisoner office, prison officers, and they're missing their opening letter, so they're failing to open. And so a larder, or larders, are smallish rooms. Uh, leading lady to see where appetizers appear. Ooh. Not sure what that's going to be. First word starts with T. Could it simply be the leading lady? I immediately wonder if that could be Eve. Um, I don't think it's going to be actually the. I think it's going to be something like top of the top of the, oh, uh, yes, yeah, so the leading lady would be uh, top of the bill, maybe? And so you might see on an itemized bill at a restaurant the appetizers first. Is that top of the bill? I think I've heard, oh, uh, somebody requesting top billing, but um, maybe in more theater um, musical or vaudeville, somebody would be top of the bill. All right, how about disasters? Leonidas dodged regularly. Well, that suggests we take regular letters um, from Leonidas. Leon Leonidas? And since we have the E, it must be every second letter, which would give us the ends. I suppose an end, your end, could be a disaster. Um, 
country 15, I think we're going to have to um, solve number 15 first. All right, well, let's um, look at 10 across. We have most of the letters here. Goth prayed desperately. Well, that certainly suggests an anagram of Goth prayed for source of support. Ooh, um, yeah, I'm not, I can't work that one out. Let's try the anagram helper. Uh, Kurt P. Dow. I'm just wondering where that Y is going to go. Therapy. Therapy dog. Ah, yes. Would definitely be a source of support. All right. Oh, well, now um, I'm thinking that has to be Togo. And 15, maybe something about takeout food, perhaps? Ah, yes. In fact, murder a pizza takeout. There we go. Uh, let's try Green's Constituent Circulated Cute Leaflet. Well, I'm reading circulated as another anagram indicator. Cute leaflet is 11 letters, and that's what we're looking for. And something that you would find within greens, and I'm thinking salad. Um, I think it's lettuce leaf. I'm always a little um, disappointed when part of the answer appears so boldly within the anagram fodder. Uh, leaflet and lettuce leaf. Anyway, there we go. I shouldn't complain, I suppose. How about we're told, which certainly sounds like a homonym, or sorry, a homophone. Um, Southeast Asians connections. Uh, so I think this is going to be Thais, which sounds like people from Thailand. All right, I didn't look at one down. Dodgy stimulator uh, so maybe an anagram of stimulator uh, yeah we have two t's and an l for agents of unwelcome change Ooh, what are they going to be so i presume it's going to end in s let's try our anagram helper again Agents of unwelcome change. I should be getting it by now, but I'm not. Um, mutilators. Oh, all right. It's not a common word, I suppose. Mutilators. All right. Uh, so now our inventor herb starts with M. Oh, uh, mint, I suppose. Uh, I don't really think of minting as inventing, but I suppose it can mean to make something um, that hasn't existed before. So perhaps it is. Ooh, tangled knotweed no. Uh, which has 10 letters, not weed, no, and we're looking for a 10 letter answer, which has an N, E, a T, and a K. Only if necessary, uh, need to know basis. All right, so it's fairly straightforward so far. All right, how about uh, very hot Norwegians? Aha! randy to some extent well i think this is a hidden clue to some extent meaning taking some of the letters in order from within norwegians aha uh -huh, randy to make very hot i'm thinking saharan so very different to norway 
Um, list includes duck, but you want another bird. Well, a duck in um, sports scores can be a zero, which would be represented by an O. So I think we want to get a word for a list, put in an O, and we get a bird. And I'm thinking of roster with an O, an extra O becomes rooster. A small company, and you want credit note up front, sauce. I think this is going to be a sauce, a culinary sauce. I'm not great on sauces. Um, I just know HP and uh, ketchup. Small company, oh, a small company. Um, a is A, small is S, company is CO, and the credit note up front, I think, is a tab. And so I do know Tabasco sauce, a little hot for my blood, but um, there we go. Cockney retained her provision for baking and something for liqueurs. So Cockney usually means we're going to take a word that begins with an H and drop it. So is there, s the her is interesting. Maybe it's going to be something like her flower and we're going to drop the H, it'll be er or something. But for liqueurs, is there a specific type of liqueur? No, I'm not seeing it. Ooh, let's try this long uh, down glue. Funny, mirthful, knoll, okay. So funny, I think, is indicating we're going to anagram. Again, we're looking for 12 letters. Mirthful is eight. And knoll makes 12, and then maybe the definition is going to be okay. I think the first, oh no, I thought it might be out of something. Oh, but how about um, all the fun of the fair? Is that right? Because the only T is already here, and I think that's going to be the mirthful knoll fun of the. Do we have two? Oh no, we we only have one F. Yeah, let me uh, get rid of that. But I do think it's going to be something... Yeah, let me pause and think about that one. Ah, yeah, I don't know why I thought it would start with fun, since uh, we have funny. It would be very unusual for them to do that. Uh, but I did think about the first word might be run, and then if something is just okay, it's run of the mill. Ah, so 20 does begin with E. So... Uh, I'm sure some of you are thinking of some liqueurs that this might fit. Oh, is there some Spanish or maybe a sherry? I want to say espadrilles, uh, espad... Um, no, now I'm thinking of Mexican food, so I'm not sure. All right, how about every man regularly gets into these arguments? Well, every man is referring to himself, so it could be I or me. Uh, on the other hand, it could be every man regularly. We take regular letters. But since R is the second letter, I don't think that it would have to start VR, which is not possible. Regularly. But I'm wondering if we put an I regularly into something 
and it's going to mean arguments no not seeing it insights in middle of open court displays of fury Ooh. the middle of open would be the pe so is something It might actually begin with in, in, then in the middle of open. And is it going to mean displays of fury? Uh, not, not sure of that. All right, I started so well, but now running into some issues. Uh, cooked but not good, dotted with holes. Ooh. I think it might be a word for cooked that has a G in it. And we're going to remove the G because it says, but not good. And it's going to mean dotted with holes. Oh, that's a, a word for cooked. Oh, uh, grilled. No, if we take the G away, it's uh, too short, I think. Yeah. But not good. Let me pause and sip my coffee and think about that. Ah, yeah, so I thought of... Um, I suppose if something has been uh, shot full of machine gun fire, it might be riddled, which is griddled without the uh, G. All right, Cockney retained her provision for baking. So is that going to be in with er? What would her provision for baking be her um oh no i'm not thinking of that lad caught by dorothy's dog uh somewhere in north america we had uh, something similar uh recently in the daily crossword where the answer was toronto and again it was a man caught inside of uh toto um, does that help my liqueurs? No, it does not. Uh, tosses in a turgid offhand precis, finally. Hmm. Well, I wonder if the precis finally is just telling us to put in an S at the end. And the word is going to mean tosses. But um, in a turgid offhand, I can't think of how that would be represented in three letters. America is a revolutionary, enormous mass of land. Ooh. Well, revolutionary is sometimes red, but it might also mean that we have to flip something on its head, turn it backwards. Um, ah, yes, yeah, so in fact, that's what we have to do. America is simply A, and then the ISA, we turn that around and we get Asia, which is an enormous mass of land. All right. How about Thomas, perhaps, embracing trendy field of research? I think it's going to be a field of research. Trendy could be 
in. So I don't know if it's going to be I n here or if this is going to be I n. And Thomas perhaps suggests we have to think of some famous Thomas. Now, is it going to be Thomas as a last name, like Dylan Thomas? I think it's more likely to be a Thomas as a first name. We do have this S in the third position that I think is going to be part of their name. Embracing trendy field of research. What would that be? Some area of science? No, I'm not thinking of it. A boar, Tolkien creature, that's not on. Ooh, so I think it's going to be, is it going to be something from Tolkien or is that trying to throw us off? No, I'm not saying it. Daffy old boaters, one swinging more than one way. I think it might be an anagram of old boaters with Daffy indicating the anagram. And it's going to mean one swinging. Uh, I think we've had something like this before where it's a type of door. We do have two, uh, two O's with a D and an R. Um, and what type of door was that again? Let me pause and uh, remember. Uh, the letters left over spell stable. So a stable door can swing more than one way, I suppose. That confirms this does end in S. Uh, tosses lobs, perhaps. But I don't get the turgid. Oh, maybe it's the final letters of. Ah, yes, tosses in is the definition. And it's A, turgid, offhand, precy, the last letters of those is ads. All right. Now our Thomas does begin with a, a D. But I don't think it's, um, I mean, we could start with D, Y, S, and then end in L, A, N. But uh, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think that's uh, going to be. I was thinking for a moment of Disneyland, but that doesn't fit. All right. Um, embracing trendy field of research. Let me pause and think about it some more. Ah, so I finally worked out the word is discipline, which is a field of research, of course. Yeah, I was trying to think of a specific one, but it's just the, the word for a field of research. And Thomas is an example of a disciple. And then the I-N does go there. Okay. Um, where to? This top half is in good shape. Every man regularly gets into these... Arguments. Could it be arguments in a scientific or even a programming sense? Not thinking of it. And this one, insights in middle of open court, displays of fury. Yeah, uh, not seeing that either. Let's try this one. Cockney retained her provision for baking. Yeah, uh, I think I'm going to have to resort to looking up a list of liqueurs and see if that uh, helps. All right, well, I wasn't too far wrong when I thought of her flower. 
But um, the retained is important. I forgot about that part. So if you retain something, you might hold it. And so this cockney, eld, er, flower. So I presume you can make a liqueur uh, out of elder flower. I'm not familiar with that. I'm sure it's lovely. Ooh, so now we do get this W, which is useful. Gets into these arguments. So what comes before the S and the W? I'm thinking it's going to be a plural word. So something like fireworks or... Um, something words oh cross ah uh, is there um it's cross words cross swords ah uh, ah uh, yes yeah. so it's every man regularly gets into these are crosswords and then arguments are crosswords. Phew, that would be a terrible one not to, not to get crosswords. All right, let's see. A or Tolkien creature. Just seeing if it could be a hidden word. O R E T. That's not on. No, I'm not seeing that. Oh, I haven't looked at 26 across. Judas Iscariot within. Now that suggests a hidden answer, hidden within Judas Iscariot, and it means unaltered as, as is. Well, that just confirms this is plural. But does it mean incites? I think it means displays of fury. Now, isn't there a boxer called Fury? So maybe it could be something to do with that. Um, yeah, not seeing it. Let me pause and uh, I may have to resort to wordplays.com to see what word fits. Ah, it's actually encourages. So incites, I suppose, could be encourages. And simply the middle of open court is saying part of the answer is hidden within open court, the E-N-C-O-U. And then displays of fury are rages. Ooh, that was a tough one. All right, now a boar talking creature. That's not on wow that's a tricky one mm, i've no idea it's an awful lot of verbiage a boar talking creature that's not on I was, um, I'm just thinking of the word drag. Ah, yes. So a drag is a boar. The Tolkien creature is a dragon, but we remove the on. That's not on. Uh, and so we get drag. Whoa. So that was pretty tricky. I uh, did finish it just about within 30 minutes. Of course, not counting my pausing. All right. Well, uh, I thought that was... Uh, very mixed today, some easy ones and then some quite tough ones. But uh, I do thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.